Anoxaparin or Lovenox is a medication you're going to see very often. It's given on essentially every floor in the hospital, and it's given for many reasons. But the main reason it's given is for prevention of VTE, DVT, and PE. What do those stand for? Deep venous thrombosis, pulmonary embolism, and venous thromboembolism, okay? So the trade name for this medication is Lovenox. Now, Anoxaparin or Lovenox is a low molecular weight heparin, okay? Heparin is naturally occurring low molecular molecular weight heparins are synthetic heparins that have a a molecular weight less than 8000 daltons which is uh, much less than what a, a naturally occurring heparin would have now these medications are classified as anticoagulants okay so what anticoagulants do is just by the name you can tell that they prevent coagulation, okay? They inhibit coagulation by mostly acting on factor 10A. Now, if you remember, our our clotting cascade has many different factors in it that all play a role in leading to clots. What anoxaparin does is that it binds to antithrombin, or AT, and by binding to this, it actually increases or accelerates the inhibition of factor 10A. So it really just inhibits the clotting factor 10A, which helps in this anticoagulation uh, that we require to prevent the VTE, the DVTs, and the PE. Now, unlike our heparin and our Coumadin and things that we measure through uh, APTTs and PTs and INR, what we use to actually measure low molecular weight heparins like anoxaparin, you know, which is Lovenox, is we actually use something called antifactor 10A. And by measuring antifactor 10A, we can actually measure how effective uh, the anoxaparin actually is in preventing the the, cas- the clotting. So the therapeutic class is anticoagulant, pharmacologic class is antithrombotic. So some things that you really need to keep in mind here are you need to watch out for pork sensitivity, okay? Because we actually, because anoxaparin is actually derived from pork intestine or cow lung. So you really need to watch out for pork sensitivity. Uh, you need to monitor for any signs of bleeding, administer through sub-Q tissue. That's how we administer this. And I always remembered in in nursing school that Lovenox kind of sounds like love and you're going to administer it in the love handles, okay? Now, a lot of times these are going to come in pre-dosed syringes and that dosed syringe is going to have a little air bubble in it. Now, unlike other injections and things where we want to get rid of all the air in it, we do not want to eject the air bubble prior to injection, okay? We leave it in there, we inject the, the entire syringe and that's how we give it. We are not going to aspirate or massage the site. So once we we give it, we push it all the way in, it's usually going to click a safety needle and we're not going to aspirate or massage that site. The biggest things to keep in mind is that it's a low molecular weight heparin. It's anticoagulant. It's going to inhibit factor 10A. Head over to nrsng.com slash labs to get our 63 lab values you have to know for nursing school, for the NCLEX, and for your life as a nurse on the floor. That's nrsng.com slash labs. Never feel lost on the clinical floor again. 10 minutes with this lab cheat sheet is going to help you feel comfortable, confident, and ready to hit the floor running. You guys, this is John Hawes with the NRSNG.com Lab Values Podcast. Thank you so much for listening. We're so glad to have you here. We're glad to help you. We're glad to hold your hand, give you the confidence and the tools that you need to succeed in nursing school and in life. Y'all, you know what time it is now. Go out and be your best self today. Happy nursing. Happy nursing.